Hey what's up YouTubers, Michelle back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to make a glitch intro in Sony Vegas Pro 13. This is going to work from 8 to 13 and it's going to look pretty nice. I actually don't know, I, don't, I actually don't have a preview of the intro so if you want to see it you have to go to the end. But I do, I went out of my way and I kind of know what it's going to look like so I've made some files for it. Uh, so yeah, you will have to download uh, this royalty free footage and use it in your intro. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. Open up Sony Vegas. I highly recommend you have a logo for this intro uh, because uh, you know it looks a lot better with that. Uh, and if you want to know how to make a logo in Sony Vegas, uh, I actually made a video about this a while ago, and I'll link it in the description below. Uh, so, anyways, but if you don't have a logo, you just want to use your name or something like that for this intro. Uh, Right-click in your empty bar and go to Insert Video Track. I think I might include a little music in the background because I've noticed my voice just goes on and on and it gets pretty boring. Uh, so right click insert video track and then insert text media. And just put in your stuff over here. I'm going to go with this MJ and I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, where did it go? This font right here. Resize it up a little bit and keep it like that. All right. That's pretty much all. We're done. No, I'm kidding. Of course. Now. What you want to do is you want to make a copy of your text. This intro is pretty small, only five seconds, but it looks really nice. Uh, okay, now that you have your stuff, right click on it, click copy. You have to make a, more video tracks, so do control shift Q, one, two, three, and you should have three more layers. Just drag that to the top. Now you just want to paste your layer in the bottom. So control V, yes. Make sure that you do the top option, control V create new copy of source media. That's exactly what you want to do. And right click control V, create new source media. All right, now one more, we have to make another layer. Let us put this on here. So I think it's five layers total of just your logo, five layers of your logo. All right, now what you want to do is you want to go to, the, to your third layer, right click on it, click edit generated media and make the color of your logo or your text red. Now, if you have a logo, you're going to have to do something a little different. Uh, you're going to have to go to the color corrector and make your text red like that by just going all the way red on everything. I'm just going to move that. So what we want to do is we want to make three different colors on here. Uh, red, green, and blue. That's RGB and that's pretty much what all like uh, all panels kind of use. And they mix together to make all the colors you see. Uh, and we kind of want to, you know, translate that uh, in this intro to make it look like, oh, this is glitching and the real colors are coming out. You got to click on the fourth one, edit generated media. This is for text. Remember the color corrector, you'd have to do it with that. And then go to green. Any green will do, but I like the bright one. And finally, the bottom one is blue. Where's blue? Oh, All yeah, right, here it is. Why am I asking you? All right. Now we have this. I'm gonna mute the top, uh, the top two layers right now. So we're just gonna mute and then mute. So you can see the red ones, the green ones, and the blue ones. Now we're gonna add some of our TV simulator video effects. So go to video effects, and go to TV simulator. Now I actually made my own, and all you have to do is drag the TV look onto the text. Uh, but I'm gonna drag this one. You just have to copy the settings. It's just a different preset of the same effect, uh, and and you'll see. So drag this onto your red, and then copy these settings, uh, exactly like this. Actually, uh, copy exactly like this. All right, do the exacts. It's really important you do exacts. I'm actually going to save this new setting. Oh yeah, in order to save some save this effect so it's easier, uh, just do just type in whatever you want it to say. And then click save and X out of it. Then you got to go out of the effect and go back in it. And now it's changed. Now you want to drag that saved effect down to the green one. And you want to do the same exact thing to the blue one, which is all the way in the bottom. You can barely see it, but it got the effect done. And now you want to do the same one to track number layer two, like so. This is now the magic starts. All right. So. Now we're going to shift all of our logos a little bit just so you can see a tip of it. Let me show you what I mean. So you go to your red one and you go to the pan crop button right over here and you click on this and you 
user arrow keys, you drag down. As you can see on the top, you, you start seeing it. And then we're going to drag to the right, top and right. So two top, I mean two, two down, wait, no. I'm confused. All right, two down, two to the right. That's what I did. And it makes it come out like this. Same exact thing with the, with the green. We're going to have to do more with the green, actually. It's four down. One, two, three, four. And then four to the right. One, two, three, four. Because we're making layers. Now the last one is going to double uh, you know, times two again. So it's going to be six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then right to the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And bam, this is the exact effect we're going for. So let me just show you what we did right now. You see this? We made this uh, TV simulator effect and we had multiple colors to it. It looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, now we go all the way back to the top layer. We turn that layer on. And we're going to have to adjust our top layer, our top logo. As you can see, it's not really wiggling. And it's a good thing. We don't want it to wiggle. We right click on that. We go to Edit Generated Media. And we add a background color to it. You click Advanced tab. And you go to Background. And you do it all the way to black. And bam. Now there's nothing available in the background. So now what we want to do is we just, we just want to add cuts to our top layer so that our, our like shakiness, our like digital effect shines through. Because you see, let me show you. First click on this. Go to any time and just press S and that splits the footage and then make a little opening in it. Now look at this. Look what happens. It's stable footage, right? Everything's cool. The viewer is like, what's going on? And bam, you get this glitch. It's not that long, but it's noticeable. And then bam, back to normal. You want to add a couple of these and they have to be really small. You click S and then you just drag the footage. Just go for three of them. I think three is a good number. Now that you have that, you have to do something else. Now you have to add a transition. And there's a special transition that makes this look really nice. Uh, and I, it's called portals. Now you can drag the default uh, portals on here. But I recommend you copy mine. It's right over here. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to drag this and put it right at the end. Right at the end of your cuts. And it's going to take over the entire thing. And you really don't want it to do that. You just want to drag this to the very end. So that only halfway through the footage does this kind of behavior happen. So the beginning, it's it's all chill, it's all cool. Oh no, I'm messing it up. Oh, I'm messing it up big time. Don't do that. Reverse. All right, make a cut in the middle of your footage, like so, in your solid segments, and then press S. You see that blue thing on top on the big long segments? That's what you're going for. So after that. Drag your portal stuff right in the middle. You can copy these settings. I recommend you do. Uh, they're pretty nice. And X out of that. That's what we're going for. Hold on. That's so weird. My stuff's acting odd. I don't want it to do that. Okay, so now let's watch this. This is actually too heavy. So we're going to go back to edit. Remember, this is portals I'm dragging on. Max transparency. What does this mean? All right, I want to see what this looks like. Huh, that actually... Maybe that's too much, huh? Maybe. Let's, uh... Max offset. Let's lower this to 500. So copy these exact settings. Just save that right there. You should pause the video if you want to copy them. Now go to the long segment again, right in the middle of it, then press S, do your little glitch thing, and then bam. Now let's go back over here. The same exact thing, cut in the middle of it, press S, put the glitch thing right in there, right in that hole. All right. And now the last one, finally, All right, let's uh, let's watch this. I want to see this now. You've probably put you've put the glitches in now. You see this effect right over here? This is not okay. This is actually a fade. You can tell because it looks like uh, it's it has a blue X all over the place. So weird. All right, let's make this. 
Let's look at it. So it's gonna do its thing, glitch, glitch, glitch. That's not okay. I don't want to fade. No fades for me. No, thank you. Why is this so difficult? I'm gonna have to make a cut right now. All right, you do a little clicky action all over the place, but you'll figure it out. I I believe in you, I guess. All right, I guess the middle one isn't gonna comply. If your if yours also does this, no. <laughs> Don't just exit out. All right, that's pretty much the effect we're going for. We're gonna render this out. Uh, hopefully, I I transferred my point correctly. I mean, translated my decisions correctly. It's actually pretty weirdly glitchy. It didn't do it before. Uh, anyways, file render as. Let's render this out of here. Uh, come on. Make it random. I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna come back in, and then we'll have the footage. I should really learn how to correctly name my stuff. But we can see on the right side of what's going on. You know, watch, it's it's this glitchy text, and then boom, the big glitch. It'll look good. I promise you. I got an idea on my head. Alright, so I just rendered that out. Uh, it's right over here, that render that we did with the weird glitch. I'm sorry if you guys hear lotus out lotuses outside. I don't know, they're just like bothering me. All right, so this is, a f <laughs> this is the footage we just rendered. Just drag this right in there and we should see it. There it is, hello. Right click on this footage, go to properties, go to unclick that and disable resample. All right, now the good stuff. We're gonna drag in all these cool effects that w I made for you guys, you're welcome. Uh, this one actually I didn't make, and I can't sell it. Uh, but I think we're we're gonna choose uh, we're gonna choose this one right over here. Let's drag that in. All right, I'll give you the exact one that I used. Uh, okay, now this is the cool stuff. First, we have to add a little little video effect in here. Go to TV Simulator. Click on the TV look. Drag that onto that video footage we made fluorescent I want this all the way to the high I want scanning phases to be pretty prevalent uh, but we're gonna remove this interlacing because I never like the way it looks also the aperture grill that's gone actually what's interlacing I'm dumb we're gonna remove the scanning phase too I'm not a fan of that and we're gonna leave this this is the way it should look this looks pretty nice we're actually gonna add a point nine 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 wait no that's too much that's more 0 0.999 static to the right. I just really like the way that looks. So it's just going to be a little really faint wiggle action. And it's just going to look like that. Pretty intense looking, huh? All right. Now we're going to click on this, drag it to the right. Just put it on top of it. Cut it up a little bit. This is the royalty free footage I gave you guys. Bam. Right click on it. Go to properties. Uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Disable resample. And then click on this right over here, this thing, and just press add. This thing is being highlighted. This is what's happening. Now we're going to right click again, insert video track, put it right underneath that in the middle, and drag your my optical flare in there. Bam. Now click on uh, the compositing mode button and click add for that too. And dang, that looks professional. Oof, I'm just covering up my bad work. Now we're going to right click again, go to insert video track, another one. Yeah, another one. We're going to media generators and color gradient. This is the funnest part. I'm going to drag this on the very top. It's okay, don't panic, we're going to fix it right now. Bam, put that on the bottom. Drag the number two to the bottom. Click on the zero and put the distance to zero. From, I mean, click on the one and put the distance to one to zero. It's gonna make it look like this. Do not worry. Go on the very top of your footage and just drag that down for the gradient thing that you just put down. It's gonna give it this nice little circle, circular uh, gradient. Uh, so if we watch this right now, it looks pretty. Ooh, that looks pro. Look at that. Let's cut all our work up. Just drag the ends. Remember, only five seconds long. Don't get greedy with the timing. 
but you know something is missing the thing that's missing is that this looks too bright uncomfortably bright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to color curves go to I mean, go to video effects go to color curves drag the default one down to our particles that we just put in make that particle real bright and then make it real dark on the bottom like this that looks a lot better let's see this we're actually pretty much done now uh, now we're just adding more cosmetic stuff so right click on this right click on your the, the rendered footage that you made go to video event effects let's add some stuff let's add a little aperture grill you can add a little bit like 160 that's cool is that a little scanning phase too maybe let's see what this looks like now I recommend that you just explore your own thing and figure it out because we did the the most basic effect the most important one the fundamental one that we needed and that was a static stuff uh, already did that so now it's just like this in fact in the end we can even make a little thing that completely messes our stuff up so if we go to animate at the very end zero point nine nine remember no it's not working zero point nine nine fifty does that work hey that does work and then at the very end we can make everything go to garbage we can mess everything up the detail zoom too nice all right so let me just show you what we just did Ooh, that looks pro. Look at that. That looks like some After Effects stuff right there. You can also adjust the optical flare. You can make it less bright if you want, but I like the brightness of it. Oh man, that looks cool. We're gonna. I want to increase this a little bit. There you go. That looks better. I think that looks better. Does it look better? Oh, that looks cool. I like the way it looks. It's completed. So let's watch one more time just for the people that were at the very beginning trying to figure stuff out. That's it. It's pretty simple. I think I'm, I don't think I explained it as, as well as I could. Uh, but that's the effect that we did. Hopefully my stuff was reasonable. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, file save this as. Save this as finished intro. We're going to keep it right on the desktop. Remember, the files are available in the description below. I hope it's, I think it's pretty good. Uh, but, you know, you might think differently. And yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching all the way through, and I'll see you guys next time.